Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, BDI Resourcing's blog uh, series. Today we're going to be talking about the EDEC examination as a postgraduate qualification that you can use to get registered with the GMC. Uh, now EDEC is the European Diploma of Anaesthetics and Intensive Care uh, and we, we have had recently a lot of questions following Brexit about whether or not it can still be used to get GMC registration and the answer is yes. So uh, we're going to talk today about the different parts of EDEC, uh, just a very surface level, give you an idea of what it's all about um, and you can make a decision about whether or not it's the right qualification for you. Right, so as you can probably guess from the title, um, the, the examination is focused on uh, anaesthetists and intensive care doctors. Now, being that it's a European qualification, a little bit different to some of our other uh, vlogs, the prices are all given in euros rather than in pounds. Now, the exchange rate is near enough uh, the same at the moment, but obviously do your maths if you're working out what it's going to cost you. So, 340 euros uh, is for the uh, part one examination, and it's split into two multiple choice uh, examination questions. So, you can have a 1A and a 1B. Now, there are 60 multiple choice questions in each part. Uh, part A uh, and Part B can both be done in a number of, uh, of languages. Again, very unique and not like the Royal College UK examination that are all done in English, you can do it in a range of European languages. So French, German, Portuguese, Spanish, uh, if you're more comfortable speaking those languages, um, then this is obviously a really good, uh, really good option for you. Uh, part A is uh, basic science, so you're going to be looking at uh, statistics, pharmacology, uh, physiology, um, and then part B, or the, the second paper, is going to be more about your sort of clinical practice in anaesthetics, so general anaesthetics, ICU, internal medicine, and emergency medicine. Um, obviously, it's going to be much more straightforward than the, uh, the second part, which is a kind of more oral practical examination, uh, but the pass mark uh, recently has been an average of between sort of 70 to 75 percent that you would need to gain uh, in order to get through to the second paper. Okay, so if you are able to pass the uh, first part of the EDIC, so the 1A and the 1B, you'll then be invited to do uh, a, a, a sort of day-long assessment for the part two exam. Now, again, given that it's in euros, it's 550 euros for the uh, EDIC part two examination. Uh, and if you are lucky enough to fail that, you can take reset attempts and they're at a reduced rate of 340 euros uh, per attempt. Now, similar to the Royal College qualifications, so the FRCA or uh, MRCP, where there's a practical element, you're going to have four stations on that day. Now, uh, each station, you're going to get given a, a kind of clinical scenario. You've got 10 minutes to read and get acquainted with it. Uh, and then you're going to go and meet two examiners. Uh, they're both going to be of two different nationalities to give a more kind of broad assessment of your knowledge. Uh, and then you'll be asked questions and, and asked to explain what the, what the situation is, how you would deal with it. Uh, two of these uh, stations are going to be basic sciences and then two are going to be again more sort of clinical uh, practical uh, situations and um, there may be images used as well so you want to be prepared to, to be interpreting those and um, the uh, the kind of stations all together are going to cover off uh, six key points and they're going to test your knowledge of basic sciences of um, clinical anesthesia, uh, resuscitation and emergency, more kind of specialist areas like thoracic, neuro, uh, intensive care, chronic pain and current literature. Uh, so again, you know, being up to date with current research and showing that you're continually developing your uh, professional uh, knowledge is going to be really, really important when you come to revising for the examination. Um, if you are able to pass that exam, Congratulations, obviously you just need to pass a, an English language test if you haven't already, so IELTS or OET, and you can make your application to the GMC. Now, especially with what's happening in the world right now, there is a huge demand for anaesthetists and intensive care doctors. So um, do please get in touch if you are uh, either coming to the end of your journey through EDAC, uh, or you're thinking about setting EDAC, or even better, if you've already achieved EDAC and you'd like to learn more about working in the UK. Okay, thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll see you for the next episode of the vlog. As always, uh, give us a like and a follow. Join our IMG Advisor group on Facebook. Listen to our podcasts on Spotify or wherever you, uh, you get your podcasts from. Uh, and if there is a specific topic or something that you'd like us to do a video or a vlog on, uh, just get in touch and let us know. Have a good one. Thank you.